Hi guys, Draven here. I am doing successive planting. So this is the second planting of some beans and peas. And I'm going to show you the beans for the, the yeah, the seeds for these early serve bush beans here. Um, while I currently live in California, I first started learning to garden in Massachusetts. And my mom actually had an acre garden because we ate entirely organic due to food allergies causing ADHD. So removing preservatives from food got rid of that problem. But also learning about um, how to deal with a very short growing season. And there's a trick that I learned from her that she would soak the seeds. So here I have um, my target beans. I'm going to plant six of them. And they have been soaking. I had them soaking, I think it was two nights ago, just literally just chucked beans into a small thing of water and left, left them to sit for about 12 hours. And then I took them out and I put them in this little tray here with wet paper cloths. You can see there's a paper cloth underneath it, and a paper cloth over it, and this is very waterlogged, but it's not um, standing in it. It's not sitting in standing water. So I'm waiting until the beans sprout and you can see that these guys have sprouted. Now this one, it has sprouted. You can see the little nub starting right there, but it's not ready yet. So I'm gonna let this one go a little bit longer, but I wanna plant these guys. I know that they've germinated. I know that there are actually viable seeds and it has taken about three days from the time they got put into the water to this point, as opposed to the standard seven to 10 germination day typical period. So I have short circuited about a week on this process by going through this soaking method here. So I'm going to take my little bean and I have my dirt prepared. I've already planted one and there's my little holes prepared for these guys. They're about an inch deep. I learned the hard way. Don't put them too deep otherwise the, the seeds have a hard time getting to the surface. So I'm just going to drop this in here. But the reason I chose to, to go this size, if I go any longer than the tail or the, the, the new root becomes so long, I get the chance of breaking it off. And I definitely don't want to break it off because if that happens, this, this little seed is no longer viable. So I'm just going to gently drop him in there. Now he's in his little hole, his new home. And I'm just going to I use chopsticks for a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to gently cover him up. And you can see that this this dirt that I have prepared, which is the seed starting matrix, um, is already soaked with water, so I'm not dropping him into dry, dry soil and then watering it. And the other one that's ready to plant is this guy. His seed is long enough. His little taproot is long enough, but not too long. I'm going to drop it in, just a little hole prepared. And again, very gently, the goal being not to damage that teeny weeny baby root. And there we go. So this pot is now ready. Now they have actual dirt to grow in. I've got three more seeds to go. These three, the root, I'm gonna give the root probably another few hours to grow. When I looked at them this morning, which is about five, six hours ago, those roots were just teeny weeny. They weren't really there. So they've all they've grown a lot in a short period of time. So I'm just gonna cover these guys back up. Let them keep soaking in that water. And then when they're ready, I'll drop them in there. And again, that took about a week off of the time it took to germinate these seeds. So if you have a short growing season or you're doing succession planting and you want to get the new stuff in growing as fast as possible, because I my, my garden now has a big empty spot because I didn't plant these soon enough and my previous beans had reached the, the end of their lifespan, so they died off and I didn't have new beans to put in their place. So I'm trying to get these to grow as fast as possible. And this is the fastest route that I've ever heard to do, do so completely naturally, no anything, 
No special seeds, no chemicals or anything like that, just water. All right, so just thought I'd share that with you guys. If you, um, well, hope you liked it. Thanks, bye.